Hello guys. Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Steam error code E84 which is happening for many of the users right now when they're trying to launch the Steam and they're having the issue. For me also I had the issue but I somehow find few steps and it worked for me. So I'm going to show you right now what you have to do. Right? So uh, first thing what you have to do is if you're for the first time to our this channel don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos and if you find this video helpful do let us know and if you have any suggestions do let us know so we can improve ourselves. So the first one is all you have to do is you just have to reset the password of your C I mean of your Steam. For that you just have to follow the instruction that you cannot be done from Steam app you have to log in on uh, Steam I mean you have to go to the Google Chrome then you just have to search for steam like this steam login you have to open the first one and this is how it looks like here you have to give the respective name of your account and uh, you just once done with the account name you have to click on help i can't sign in click on this one so once it is done there are four options you have to select i forgot my steam account name or password so you have to select this one and what they is they will be asking you to give the respective email id and you have to give it so they'll be sending you a code you have to click on it and you have to reset the steam just very usual and normal process that we all know this is quite simple i think for everyone knows it so i'm not explaining much on this part this is what you have to do after resetting the password you have to sign in back to the app and most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about we have to delete temporary files on our pc for that we just have to go over here in the search and you have to search for run like this so you'll be getting a command like this so you just have to click on this one and first what you have to do is you have to uh, type temp you have to type temp and you have to click on ok so what happens is you'll be getting these folders so these are some of the temporary files which is unwanted files on our laptop so we have to delete it for that i have to press ctrl and a so that it all is selected right now i have to press delete so that this will be asking for this go for skip and wait unless all the uh, files are deleted and once it is done you just have to close this and we have one more step to do for the same you have to follow the same instruction go over here in the search type for run and here you have to give the command that is percentage temp percentage and what you have to do is just have to press ok so right now this is uh, uh, these are the folders and you have to press Control and A all together on a keyboard and you have to click on delete so that all the files will be deleted so you just have to wait for it. So once all these files are deleted we are good to go you have to open the steam and you have to see whether these two first basic steps helped you or not. If it's still not working for you guys then we just have to talk about something very serious workarounds. So next is all about you have to set the time automatically. For that you just have to go over here in the search and you can navigate to settings. Now from here you have to click on time and language. Now from here select date and time. Now from here as you can see over here set time automatically I have turned it on. In some cases this will be off so you have to turn this on. Once it been turned into off you have to click on sync now so that that will be synchronization will be happening. Over here I have done very recently so this is showing it it is all good. But in a case if it is turned off you have to turn turning on it first time this won't be synced so you have to sync it. And once after that you have to check with the steam once again whether you are able to fix the issue or not. In some cases if it's not still working and you are having the trouble you don't have to worry we have to go for the next one. Next one is all about you have to go over to the steam shortcut you have to right click over here so this is actually this method is called we are adding the launch parameter so what you have to just have to click on uh, show more options and we'll be getting into the properties and right now as you can see we are having the target right it is on c program file series 16 so what you have to do is after the e dot exe uh, colon then i just have to press and uh, i have to press give a space once i'm done with the space i have to give login i have to type login I have to give the space once again then I have to type no react login okay so I'll be giving this in the description so you don't have to worry after steam.exe what do you have to do? You just have to give one space type login then give one more space and type no react login once it is done just go for apply and go for okay then try to launch the steam 
that might have helped you in my opinion because this worked for many of the users across the reddit so that's why i said this is very important one so even after trying with all these you are having the trouble and you're having really a nightmare you don't have to worry we have a solution the next is all about you have to do a simple thing which is called restarting your pc or laptop you have to go over here just do a normal restart and most probably the issue has to be worked because by doing a simple restart many issues which is bigger than this has fixed it in the past so that might be fixing the issue even after trying this if it's still not working you are done with the restart you have added the parameter you have uh, made all these things which i mentioned above and you're having really nightmare and darkest time of your life then the next is all about you have to uninstall the steam for that you just have to go over here you have to navigate to control panel go to program and features right now you can scroll down and you can find where the steam is for example you'll be able to find it you have to uninstall it once after uninstall it back you have to close this go back to the google chrome and you have to search for a steam once again download and install it and you will be having the steam latest versions with the update while you're trying to install in the particular update steam has officially working on how to fix this up from their end so by uninstalling and reinstall it back the issue will be completely fixed but you have to keep in mind that you have to think about the game you have downloaded and saved and i don't know what's going to happen further sometimes you might lost it so you have to keep in mind this is going to how you can fix the steam error code e84 and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye